what can your procedure do for someone who is suffering from multiple sclerosis? So the more important thing to uh, understand is that uh, we discovered uh, an association between narrowing in the main outflow route from the brain to the heart in the veins. And uh, this condition is called chronic cerebrospinal venous insufficiency and is strongly associated to multiple sclerosis. Is this a condition that you named? Or yes. Was this, okay. This is CCSVI, it's an acronym, but uh, actually is uh, internationally accepted. And uh, but practically it means that uh, the time, the transit time of the blood from the brain to the heart is longer. And so the drainage of the nervous system is uh, worsening than expected. And this is a chronic condition and probably uh, with uh, important interaction uh, mm, for multiple sclerosis because we know it's an inflammatory and neurodegenerative disease. So if you do not have a good drainage of toxins or uh, infection, viruses, etc., certainly this is not a good thing. So the ed initial idea was to understand after this discovery what happened when you, with a simple balloon dilatation, angioplasty, angioplasty is a commonly used technique, as a basic endovascular technique. What happened? And so we carried out a pilot study. And the results of this pilot study were so interesting that now we are planning a randomized control trial. So you use the angioplasty to open those veins to yes. allow the blood to flow out of the brain and more freely. You call it the liberation procedure. Why that word? It means uh, to liberate the flow. But uh, it was very curious that uh, people adopted this uh, slang for a double significance for the hope to have also liberation from symptoms of a mass, not only for blood. How many people have you treated using this procedure? Uh, we treat, we per carried out 120 procedure. And how long a procedure is it? How long an operation? Uh, approximately one hour. And what kind of successes have you registered with this procedure? It depends from the neurological condition of the patients. 75% of our population with uh, improved, improved uh, with uh, no more attack and no new lesion in the magnetic resonance. And uh, very interesting also, uh, very good response and quality of life. And are these, again, just to clarify, these were of the 20, 120 patients, you're saying 75%, how many of them had advanced MS? Really, uh, we do not have uh, fantastic results in progressive form. But all the patients... With those with the most advanced you're talking about? Yes, yeah. uh, so there are no miracles in that case. Uh, what is interesting in progressive form is that uh, there is a proportion of patient in which it seems that the progression stops. So it was the, the, the benefits disappeared for the most advanced cases within about 18 months, am I correct? Uh, yes, but uh, uh, this was uh, uh, associated with the occurrence of restenosis. And restenosis is what? I'm sorry. Is that you have a recurrence, you did recur, restenosis did recur, so you have again narrowing because the, these are malformed veins. And uh, angioplasty is a very conservative and safe treatment, but sometimes needs to be, to needs of a second shot, of a second treatment. Do the patients who you treated, did they continue with their MS drugs after this procedure? Yes, they never suspended, because uh, we do not have 
any evidence that treating CCSVI you may treat VMS. I never, never say this because we know that uh, multiple sclerosis is a multifactorial and very complex disease. We identified a factor that was unknown and we treat that factor but uh, we do not uh, uh, forget all the pieces of our research. You talk about the need for more research. You know that critics have outlined what they call limitations in the data that exists now. They, because there was no control group, because um, the patients were all aware of the procedure, leaving a possibility that uh, there was a placebo effect. How do you respond to those kinds of criticisms? Rome was not built in a day. Uh, till last April, nobody known CCSVI and this terrible association with uh, multiple sclerosis. Nobody tried to treat CCSVI and to observe in a pilot study the safety and the effects. Now we have a good base for a randomized control trial that will give a level A evidence of the possibility of this treatment as a new tool in the arsenal available against multiple sclerosis. The research and the method of treatment was born of your personal experience with MS. Can you tell us about your wife? Yes, my wife was one of the, of, uh, the first patients because uh, uh, I began to study MS due to the inconsequence of, uh, of what happened to my wife. And the results of this research is exactly CC has VI diagnosis and treatment. Was she one of the first patients to have the operation? No, it was the fourth patient. And how is she now? My wife? Mm hmm. It's very good. And how long ago was the surgery? 2007. And she was, um, uh, was her uh, but MS? But it's very reductive to speak of my wife. Well, it, but it's your because personal reason have, for getting we involved. Have, we have uh, dozens of patients with the same outcome, or even better. But she's the reason you got into this research, is she not? Of course. And, and it was your, your desire to help her? Of course. That's why I'm asking you about her. Yes. You, news of your research sparked a flood of MS patients wanting access to the procedure. MS clinics in this country were flooded with callers. People even accused clinics of withholding treatment. What, what do you make of the reaction to the news of your treatment? Oh, the MS sufferers were really enthusiastic of, of uh, with this research for different uh, reasons. One is that uh, makes sense. CCSVI can be diagnosed and can be treated. So you know a part of your enemy. Does the desperation of, of patients wanting your treatment bother you at all, though? The fact that people think that this is a cure, that they have to have this. I think that uh, uh, looking at the results, take into account the limitation that are really uh, this real. We do not have a control group. We do not have uh, independent assessment. So, uh, despite this limitation, the, the results and the witness of people are very strong. And people took in the internet community. So people who experienced the treatment uh, tell to the other. The Are you experience. concerned about instilling a false hope amongst those who suffer from MS? I don't think so, absolutely. Because uh, I do not know exactly in which category of patients, because we have several forms of uh, uh, multiple sclerosis, different clinical course, and uh, uh, so I don't know exactly uh, in which 
category the treatment is recommended. But I am absolutely sure that in a great proportion of patients suffering from MS, this treatment may offer better quality of life, response to symptom of an any treatment, and adjuvant therapy together with the other drug. Because remember, there are no drug, no pills, no injection capable to open a closed vein. 